Welcome to Nashville, 300 Ladybird Drive, Airbnb review. It's a little steep driveway, but it's a cute little house. This is our last day. I'm gonna give you a quick tour in case you're interested. We came in the dark. Watch that first stop, kinda missed it. Say hi. I'm making a video for the kids. Hi. Hi. Well, hi. Hi. <laughs> we were not excited. <laughs> all right. We were all stared at. Like, Look <laughs> at it. They have some games and books. And a TV that we actually didn't watch that much. Nope. And some movies. Bye. I bet you're gonna go up the whole oh yeah, this is just the living room. Skip the kitchen. Here's the a shared bathroom. Very nice. Um, the towels were super soft. Really awesome. Do be careful on the water is hot. <laughs> Otherwise. Very cute. Huh? I suppose I should slow down a little bit. Nice uh, laminate or tile throughout. It gets a little dark in here. There's a light. Um, extra linens in this little first bedroom. Which you'd have to check the description. I think this is a full, but that's where you're. Included printer and little work desk is just a closet big enough. I'm zoomed out as far as I can. But. Um, next room with a, I believe, queen size bed. Very nice. Um, description said it's, well, it's messy because we used it, but Amish. Um, I can't think of the type of mattress, but it's pretty soft. Um, the one thing I will say what could be needed is blinds. Not just curtains, but blinds because the neighbor's yard light and the sunlight in the morning, kind of bright. So if that's going to bug you, either should hang a towel there or bring something to cover your eyes. Like here, there's blinds on this window, but not on the other one. So... Uh, dresser, nice painting, table lamps, mirror on the closet door, some extra stuff up there, and what would be considered a master. The nicer looking bed, TV in the corner, ceiling fan, and their own bathroom. A little nicer, but I suppose turning the light on would help. Uh, the one thing I did notice, at least the laminate laid down, I don't know if there was a, an underlayment laid or something, but it's rather squeaky, which only matters in the middle of the night when people are up going to the bathroom. Here's the kitchen. Uh, took a second to figure it out, but the under cabinet lighting switch. A key rig with a regular coffee maker. A drawer full of junk drawer, measuring cups, color utensils. Uh, on the review side of it, we made a lot of food here and between five people. Probably could have used more plates and glasses because we'd have to run a load of in the dishwasher all the time but otherwise gas range microwave toaster blender um, really cool handmade table in the tile or warm uh, the downstairs <clears throat> a 
which depending, I'm not sure the rules of this house, like how many people, but you had three, obviously three upstairs. If you had a larger party staying here, um, plenty of room down here for numerous air mattresses if anyone staying here was comfortable with that. Looks like there was a TV up there, but um, it's kind of nice down here to where it's a tad cooler, but there's nothing to sit on or not really an area where you're going to hang out, I guess, but maybe in there works for that. What's also really nice is the darkness, <laughs> but uh, washer and dryer, um, that's why I forgot some of the things that were included, I guess. Maybe I'll go back upstairs and check that out, but they did have stuff to wash and dry clothes, which is nice. Extra pillows and other stuff. And I believe that door is locked, probably for cleaning. This one goes into the garage and is locked. This door goes outside. Take a get outside to do some grilling and uh, for your garbage can a picnic table to hang out pretty neat or if you needed to park bring more cars down there and park otherwise that was probably the main thing I forgot upstairs was to show you what's included in case you do do cooking here while you stay And here was some coffee supplies. Um, a lot of other miscellaneous in here as far as spices. Sugar, syrup, probably leftovers. Um, there was dishwasher soap and your trash bags. Uh, cutting board. I think what else was around here? Some bags. There's your plates. And plenty of coffee cups. Wine glasses. Plenty of silverware. Towels. Open mitts. And nothing. So. As you can see, a little noisy there. But my overall impression, really nice, nice, cute little house for a, a stay when out of town. Never done an Airbnb before, so not sure what's good to compare it against, good or bad, as far as maybe rules or things you need to do. But overall, it was in a good location, close to downtown or other aspects of Nashville, and um, I would highly recommend it. If you have any questions or concerns, post them below and I'll do my best to try to answer them about the house. Thanks.